Hey guys, the 825 PTR is finally here and today we'll take a look at the 7 new mounts that they added and talk about how you'll be able to obtain all 7. Just keep in mind that this is the first build of the PTR and their acquisition methods could change before it goes live. But anyways guys, let's get into the video. First up we have the long awaited B mount that was data mined almost a year ago, but it's finally here and you'll be able to get it in patch A25. It is an alliance only mount, so sadly horde players won't be able to get it. However, if you are playing as an alliance, you will have to work with an NPC called Barry to locate the hive and court the favor of the hive mother. It's by far one of my favorite mounts in Battle for Azeroth because it's so unique and I've been waiting for it for so long that it will be good to finally have it. Next up we have the Obsidian World Breaker. This mount is inspired by Deathwing from Cataclysm and you will be able to obtain it during the 15th anniversary, which should be around the 23rd of November, which is only a few weeks after BlizzCon. Now if I have to be honest with you guys, this might be one of the best anniversaries we've had in the game, because to get this mount you will need to kill 9 memorable bosses in total. The bosses you'll be fighting are Kel'Thuzad, Lady Wash and Archimon from the Burning Crusade, Hagen the Unclean, Anubarak and the Lich King from Wrath of the Lich King, and lastly, Chogal, Nefarian, and Ragnaros from Cataclysm. So if you want to get the mount, you will have to defeat all 9 bosses. And it's kinda hard to say how challenging it's gonna be. But to be honest, I can't wait to see how they execute it. Because it does sound pretty awesome on paper. And it's definitely something that I'm pretty excited about. Moving on, we have two additional mounts that you'll be able to obtain during the 15th anniversary. The first one is the Frostful Snarler that you'll be able to acquire as a Horde player. Now even though it's a model we've seen many times in the past, this quote unquote updated model does look pretty awesome in HD. Now the second one, which is the Alliance one, is called Stonepike Balram. This one looks pretty damn nice as well and it's good to see that Blizzard is updating the models and one of my favorite parts of this mount gotta be the glyphs and the shiny red colors which stands out perfectly. So the way you'll be able to obtain one of these two new mounts is by participating in an old school inspired AV battleground which will be available during the 15th anniversary. So if you don't know what an old school AV battleground is, it's basically the same battleground as we have now except that in vanilla AVs could take 10 plus hours to complete. So I assume that's what they're going for. To get one of these two new mounts you will need to get an achievement called Eltrek Valley of Old. I guess they are saying old, I'm not sure, but it requires you to earn 100 time war badges by doing quests during the event and participating in the battle ground itself, which shouldn't be too time consuming I would assume. Next we have two new recruiter friend mounts. If you didn't know, Raph is returning back in patch 825 so you can finally recruit your friends to the game once again. Once your friend has purchased their third month of game time, you'll be able to choose a pet or a mount as a reward. Well that's how it worked in the past and I'm not too sure if they changed it or not. But anyways, the first new mount that you'll be able to choose among is called the Explorer's Doom Tracker and it's basically a camel with a backpack, a chest and a shovel on its side. And on top of the mount you will see two cushions, so I assume that it's a passenger mount which would only only makes sense since it is a recruiter friend mount. The second mount you can choose is called Explorer's Jungle Hopper. Unfortunately this model is still encrypted but I will cover it as soon as I can. Lastly, we have two new mounts that you will either be able to buy from the in-game store or get through the 15th anniversary's collector's edition. Well, that is if you manage to get one of those. So yeah, the first mount is called Alablastus Tomtalion and it's the exact same model as the Swift Windriders that we've seen for many years. But even though it's a reused model, the new skin looks pretty damn nice. It's like if a statue of the mount got resurrected or possessed and is now flyable. I especially like the glowing eyes which kinda gives it the possessed feeling. Now the second mount that you'll be able to buy or get from the collector's Collector's edition is the Thunderwing. I know that store mounts aren't the most popular thing within the community and you either don't care about them or you hate them as much as Asmongold does. But if I have to be honest with you guys, they look pretty cool. I mean, it is a reused model of the Griffin, but I still like how these two models look. And this one even has some yellow particles coming up from the wings which looks pretty cool. So yeah guys, these were the mounts that we got in the first build of the PTR, but we are probably still gonna get some more because we didn't get the time walking mounts yet and I bet that the goblins and wargans will be getting some new mounts as well. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as well. But anyways guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video as well.